Thirty years had passed. Decades without rain. The once fertile plains of Fars had become as barren as the loot salt desert. A few arrow shots from Persepolis. The Kushans, bloodthirsty warriors from the east, were attacking Persia. Persian soldiers defended the land, no matter the cost. Ardashir resisted heroically, but his men fell one by one. Anahita summoned her remaining strength in battle. For Yuvishka, the Kushan general, victory was certain. Until history took a different turn. The seven immortals were the best warriors in the kingdom. One of them would become a legend. Onward, immortals! Anahita! Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Save Persepolis. I trained you for this. I will go help my wounded warriors. Let's go, Sargon. God, it's the rush of our no. Eliminate those Kushan archers. Leave it to me! How many did you get? I'll get out of your way! And you can catch up! Ha <laughs> ha! 
the immortals! Don't let them get to General Ovishka! Watch out, Sargon! General must not be far. Let me handle him. Take this. You might need it. Yuvishka, you can't hide from me. Shabar, was it? <laughs> Your life ends here. Not if yours ends first. The mighty Simurg, protector of Persia, has long left. But should our enemies try to take advantage of the situation, they will soon find that the kingdom's bravest warriors will be their undoing. Thirty years ago, the divine bird Simurg graced my shoulder thus showing his trust in me to guide our people. Today, I, Tamiris, Queen of Persia, praise your valor and loyalty, immortals. Varum, you and your forces have once again saved the kingdom. Hassan, Prince of Persia! Step forward, Sargon. Word of your deeds precedes you through the streets of Persepolis. Accept this royal sash as a token of our gratitude. Sargon, the Rashabar, the black wind that destroys all in his path. I didn't choose that name. You need not worry. I do not attach any importance to these superstitions. The winds also carry the seeds of future harvests. I am truly glad to meet you, Sargon. Thank you, Prince Hassan. Let us drop the honorifics, and may we get to know each other in less formal circumstances. As you wish. 
حسن This victory to you, Reshavar. I am glad you're on our side. Just watch out. The Rashabar is said to sow ruin and destruction. I do not believe such stories. I've seen your contribution in battle. That is all that matters to me. All the formalities, not quite your thing, is it? No, not really. Must be the same for your comrades, apparently. Yes, I've noticed. Your name brings hope to Persia and is feared by the enemy. What a reputation. Maybe. I didn't ask to be prince either, but fate has spoken and I must accept it. General Anahita taught you how to fight, didn't she? I wish I had that opportunity. Without her, I wouldn't have joined the Immortals. In the end, I'm glad she was tough with me. Ah, strict education. Sounds like something we share in common. Varum. We're somehow the only Immortals left here. <laughs> the others are probably letting loose up on the roof. Not all warriors belong in the throne room. Join them, Sargon. I'll be along soon enough. You've captured everyone's attention, Sargon. Remember this moment. Thanks, Varum. Long live the House of Tamiris. Long live the House of Tamir. I'm proud of you, Sargon. I defeated Yuvishka, and we saved Persepolis. Did we? Thousands died on the battlefield. We're out of supplies. Persia is barely surviving. The Kashan will surely come back. Would you call that a victory? I... let my pride go to my head. A warrior's journey is always one in progress, and when there's nothing left in one's path, the warrior wonders. What is at the end of my blade? I know. Found an answer yet? I won't figure that out tonight. Maybe a drink will help. You should join us. Thanks, but I have other matters to attend to. You have what it takes to become one of the greatest, Sargon. I know. Just watch me. And listen to Varum. He will keep you on the right path. Long live the... I'm telling you, Prince Hassan may be my son. <laughs> oh, that's nonsense. He looks nothing like you. He took everything from his mom, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you are really not her type. Whose type? Ah, the kid finally decided to join us. The hero of the day. <laughs> the queen's new protege. So, you're mingling with aristocracy now, eh? Or trading in your swords to become a satrap. Laugh all you want. Who eliminated a general tonight, huh? Don't encourage them, Sargon. It just means you've impressed them. Yeah, he's right. You were impressive. If you want to talk more quietly, I won't be far. Was Varum still with you? Yeah, he's in the throne room. So there. Must be collecting our payment. What payment? Artaban gets paid in scrolls. 
I can hear you, man Elias. Not bad, kid. Not bad. What do you mean, not bad? <laughs> Keep it up, and maybe one day you'll take on a real challenge like me. Ugh, you just don't want to get your ass kicked in front of an audience. <laughs> Keep dreaming, kid. Go see Nate. She's waiting for you. Where's Rajan? In the shadows, perched on a roof, probably handling some secretive business. Not too loud. Rajan hears all. Go see Nate. She's waiting for you. So, will you still remember us now that you're famous? <laughs> I'm trying to stay humble. And find what is at the end of my blade. Oh, sounds like Anahita set your head straight. Um, sort of. In her own way. You know, it is amazing what you did. You should be proud of yourself. We all are. One of our own eliminated the Kashan General. Outstanding. And you are the White Lion's pride. You ragtag bunch of immortals. <laughs> you have always been destined for greatness. And with Sargon's bravery, that's another one for the history books. We made the city safe. The people are at peace again. This is cute, but can we go celebrate now? Our usual haunts has food and drinks on the house. Varum, you're coming with us. I wouldn't miss it. Varum! Prince Hassan has been kidnapped. Kidnappers? They must still be in the palace. Take the lead, Sargon. You may be the last to have spoken to him. We must find Prince Hassan. his guards. Anahita, what is this all about? I wasn't planning on killing you, Sargon. Stay out of this. Move out of my way. What the hell? 
hell was that? Ah, uh, still a child. Sargon, who was it? I thought I recognized Anahita. Is she involved? Yes, she is. Without a doubt. Baram, gather your forces. You are to leave for Mount Kaf at once in search of Prince Hassan. Ardashir and his soldiers are already on the way. We need all the help we can get. We will not fail you, Your Majesty. Bring him back. Bring back my son. <laughs> Citadel. Anahita took Prince Hassan beyond these gates. I can't fathom why Anahita would do such a thing. Sargon, you know her best. What do you make of it? It doesn't make sense. She has always been loyal. She wants to seize power for herself. Oh, what do you even mean? The Simorg may have disappeared, but the mighty god used to live on Mount Karf and perhaps still does. It has always been the Simorg who appoints future kings and queens. Hmm. Anahita probably wishes to receive the Simorg's blessing. But why kidnap Prince Hassan? She needs him. The gates to the Simorg temple only open for members of the royal family. She has lost her mind. She will never get the Simorg's blessing like that. We can't be certain. After all, the Samorg may be weakened. One thing's for sure. Prince Hassan is in danger. She will kill him once she has no need for him. Immortals, follow me. Let's help Ardashir and find Prince Hassan. <laughs> Wait for me here. Don't worry. I won't be long. Mountains. 
been here before? No, but I've read about it. This place was once the site of King Darius's palace. Religion, medicine, astrology, geometry, algebra. All knowledge was gathered here, accessible to all. Mount Kaf was home to a great citadel of wisdom, the pride of all Persia. And? What happened? No one survived to tell the tale. And to think that Prince Hassan is caught up in all this. Who knows what might await us? Who knows what might await us? Sorcery. I'm a warrior, not a seer. Frozen as it falls. As if time had stopped. Here, not everything is what it seems. Let's be cautious. I'm good. Kais and Layla are by my side. Your swords? Yes. They have never betrayed me. Stay sharp. Prince Hassan can't be far now. Something is not right here. We must proceed with caution. Sure, man Elias. You can scurry from shadow to shadow like frightened vermin. I'm serious, Orod. There's a strange presence here. I can feel it too. And there's only one way to find out. Ha 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 ha! Let's go then! Baram, this is Azad, one of Ardashir's men. Long dead, judging by the rot. How is that possible? They left not long before us. We are not welcome here. Stay on your guard. We will find the Prince and Anahita. We go east. We don't go anywhere. You'll only slow me down. You're on your own.
What are you doing here? This place is too dangerous for a child. Don't worry about me. I know the Citadel better than anyone. I know every step. I even go where others can't. I've chatted and argued with every creature. And I know every tree here. Like this one? Are they all like this? These trees are special. They're called Wack Wack. They have the purest of Athra. So. Stand beneath its leaves to restore your energy. There are many whack whack trees throughout Mount Calf. Tell me, you say you know all here. We're in search of soldiers like us. Our prince is being led by an... A general. Have you seen anyone like that? A prince? There hasn't been a prince here in so long. I've only seen you. Well, if you've lost your friend in Mount Calf, then you're going to need an Eye of the Wanderer. What's that? It's a very rare, very ancient thing. Here, for you. Go on, try it. Here, I might as well show you a neat trick to remember places on Mount Calf.
Miss... I don't know your name. My name is Faraba. I'm Sargon, warrior of the Immortals. Oh, doesn't that sound impressive? Well, Sargon, I'm sure we'll meet again in Mount Calf. I'll share my discoveries with you when I can, but I'll need time crystals to do it. Time crystals? <laughs> Welcome to Mount Calf.
Take the prince to the Simor Gate. Anahita! Don't you dare harm him! If you want Prince Hassan back, come and get him! Anahita! Anahita was here. She's taking Hassan to the Simor Gate. Then Artaban may be right about her wanting the throne. That thing above us. What is it? I'm not sure. But to get to Hassan and Anahita, we must destroy it. From this distance? That's not possible for either of us. Maybe Menelias can help here. Varum sent him to the east to investigate the forest. I'll try to find him. I'll look for another way. brings you here, traveler? My allies and I are in pursuit of a traitor. Then you and the others are trapped here, too. Mount Calf has seen its share of travelers. Many are lost within the web of time's curse. Beware, warrior. Death and misery roam the citadel. I've seen my share of death. Even the most determined of warriors must be prepared. Take this. Its unique properties will aid you. Just know that each one is precious and can only be changed at a whack whack tree. I'll make good use of this. Welcome. Well, these amulets are very old. Older than me, certainly. <laughs> Each crafted by ancient magi. There are magi in Persepolis. They provide medicines. Those in Mount Calf possess more unique abilities. Though much has been forgotten. The longer Mount Calf remains imprisoned within this time paradox, the more we'll all forget our knowledge and way of life. Artaban. Sargon. Varum saw Anahita's guards, and he's in pursuit. As for me, I cannot continue. Time flows differently here. My mind is playing tricks on me. I can't discern the truth from the imaginary. Artaban, thank you for being honest with me. Does this mean you're retreating? I'm not giving in just yet. I intend to serve until my last breath. After all, if Anahita really has changed loyalties, I believe you're short of a sparring partner. Any word of the others, Artaban? Some. Though I'm not sure what help it would be to you. Oro passed through quickly. He told me he had glimpses of Menelaus in combat and was off to find him. 
I'm certain Menelaus will manage. Yes. I said as much to Orod. In any case, Orod will have his back. You know, Sargon, I'm not entirely sure it's a good idea that we mortals remain separated. Well, it made the most sense to split up and find them. I agree. At least at the start. But this place has too many tricks. We should regroup. You may be right, Artaban. But I don't think it'll be long before we have Anahita cornered. I'm sure you, as much as the rest of us, are eager for her explanation. Hmm. I have to know why she's done such a thing.